Good morning, everybody. I'm delighted to welcome my friend, uh, Foreign Minister Al Sabah from Kuwait, uh, to Washington and to this strategic dialogue that we will engage in this morning. Uh, the truth is, we meet frequently, uh, and I want to thank the Emir of Kuwait and the government of Kuwait for their uh, tremendous commitment to this relationship, for the extraordinary cooperation that we receive on a whole host of issues. And really now for 25 years since we fought shoulder to shoulder in the war of liberation of Kuwait, there's just been a clarity of purpose in what we are trying to achieve together. Uh, we are engaged in counter-dash, counter-ISIL efforts. We're engaged in regional stabilization efforts. Kuwait has made significant contributions to help deal with the problem of displaced people and refugees. I think about $1.4 billion, the most recent pledge. Uh, they are reliable and constant uh, partner in the effort to counter violent extremism in the region. They share the same interests that we do in trying to bring peace to Yemen, and they've hosted talks there for a long period of time and are prepared to continue to do that if we can bring the parties together uh, to try to uh, have a peaceful resolution to that conflict. Uh, they are a contributing partner in our uh, efforts with the GCC, uh, which have increasingly been important ever since the Camp David meeting. So uh, on the security side, there is this full partnership, but also on the side of education, on, on exchange, on students, on uh, trade and investment. Uh, we are working extremely closely together, and I want to thank uh, the Emir and his government for their efforts to help counter the proliferation of the DPRK, of North Korea. Uh, they have recently taken steps to curb flights uh, and to make sure that revenues from uh, workers are uh, not uh, sustaining an illegal and illegitimate regime in North Korea. So again, we're grateful for uh, the many areas of our work together, and I'm delighted that today we're finally able to achieve what we've been working towards for some time, which is uh, uh, getting this, uh, this uh, strategic dialogue uh, between our countries underway, uh, recognizing the importance of these many issues that we're working on together. Thank you, my friend. Thank good you. Good to have you here. Thank you. Uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I would like, first of all, to thank uh, Secretary Kerry for his invitation. I'm so delighted to be here in Washington today to start the uh, strategic dialogue between the state of Kuwait and the uh, United States of America. That reflects uh, the desire of the two countries to promote and enhance uh, the existing relation. Uh, we are uh, ready, as uh, my friend uh, Mr. Kerry uh, just said, uh, to cooperate in uh, military, security, education, and uh, culture. And we have many uh, other fields. Uh, we have to explore uh, fresh ideas to, to promote and enhance uh, the relation. Uh, it's a good opportunity also to touch upon uh, regional issues in uh, uh, combating uh, terrorist group, uh, so-called Daesh, uh, and the situation in uh, Yemen, uh, operation take place in Iraq now to liberate Mosul, uh, crisis in Syria, and of course Libya, and uh, to think together how can we work to resume the peace process in the Middle East. So we have a lot of uh, challenges. Uh, uh, today, uh, we'll have a good opportunity to discuss all these matters. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you think we see Lebanon is getting closer to elect the president? Uh, we obviously hope that Lebanon will move, but uh, I'm not certain what the, what the outcomes will be from the support that uh, uh, Saeed Hariri is offering. I don't know what the result will be yet, but we're very hopeful this, this, this uh, the stalemate on the issue of a presidency 
is hurting Lebanon. It hurts the region. And it, uh, we hope they can move forward. Thank you.